my channel, I'm Viv Mitchich, and today I'm going to be discussing acting books. So during my period of inactivity, I've bought one acting book and borrowed another four, but I stopped reading all of them. Are you probably thinking, why? Well, I'll get into that. So first of all, the one thing that really annoyed me at the start of nearly every acting book I read was that there was a preface and an autobiography and these aren't short these are like super super long and then by the end of it you're just completely sick of the book and you want to throw it at the wall or burn it or something like that so that really really irritated me and I'm like come on you can shorten this but no you want to give us the full-blown story of Oh my god, I'm so excited to be writing the preface, or oh my god, this is my autobiography. This is like literally what I did when I was five years old, and this is what I'm doing when I'm now 50. You know, like, I don't want to read that, okay? You can condense it. And I know when you're talking about yourself, you tend to go on and on and on. I know I do, personally, but, you know, people can shorten it. Because, I mean, I'm, I won't be the only one who's like, I want to read all of this, so, yeah. Um, so, the second point I have to say about the acting books that I've read is that they seem to just have the wrong authors. So, like, for example, the book that I bought was written by a director, and I'm like, this is an acting book written by a director who hasn't done much acting. I don't know what I'm going to learn from them. And you know what I did end up learning? <sighs> How much it costs to make a film. And if I'm interested in learning about acting, then I'm not sure why I would need to know how much it costs to actually make a film. But I mean, thank you for writing it. But don't market your book as an acting book, please. <laughs> And then, um, so I personally believe that casting agents and other actors are more suited to writing acting types of books because of their relevant experience. So like a casting, a casting director is someone who, uh, just for those of you who don't know, uh, is in charge of actually casting people in, you know, films, TV shows, theatre things. So, you know, that's relevant them and also other actors they're also really great authors but I feel like I've read a, I've read um sorry two of the books that I borrowed one was from an actor and one was from a casting director and they both completely overestimated how experienced they were because you know they were writing about things and you could just tell like halfway through the paragraph that they kind of lost the trail and they're like kind of bluffing and it's like yeah if I can tell that you don't know what you're talking about you really don't know what you're talking about and you probably should just hit the backspace button and like hold it down you know for like a good 10 minutes <laughs> delete 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 <laughs> um so another thing that I found annoying with these acting books is that they didn't answer the important questions that I really needed answered. And if they did answer some important questions, then they didn't spend 10 pages answering it when you really could do it in three because who's got the time to read 10 pages? So just make sure that if you're gonna answer, you know, you've gotta know what your audience wants to know and you've gotta answer it, but don't spend 10 pages answering it unless it's absolutely necessary. Another annoying bit I found in those 10 pages is that they'd have excerpts from other people which most of the time did not support the topic properly. So yeah, it was kind of a waste of time. <laughs> um, so now just to wrap up, I just want to go into what I think a good acting book should be like. So first of all, I think that it should be like FAQ style or Q&A. So like, you know, for example, asking people on Instagram, oh, hey, do you have any acting related questions? And then 
you'll just um, you know and they will just copy out everybody's questions and then you, and then you put it in a book and then somebody um, and then you've got some actors casting directors etc answering those questions relevant to their experience and as you know with Instagram stories you can't write 10 pages on them so they would get quite short answers which would be also straight to the point and relevant and wouldn't have little you know excerpts from people that aren't relevant so that would be really good um they'd also have various authors with different experiences that's because if you are asking the audience exactly you know exactly what they want to know then you're going to need to make sure that people can answer those questions and have relevant experience so that they're getting the best possible answer so for example you know uh, all of the books I read were written by one author so um, actually except for one but but that still wasn't done like FAQ style so yeah but um, you know, most books are written by one author and so if you can have more than one answering questions relevant to them, that would be great. But <laughs> yeah, uh, again I've mentioned uh, short relevant answers, uh, also keep the introduction short and gripping and I know that's probably going to be hard if I'm saying, alright, my dream acting book has like, you know, several different authors. but you can seriously just make a joint statement about why the book was written and actually that brings me to my final point why hasn't this dream book been written yet well that beats me see you next time <laughs>